Okay, so buttons are cool, but what more can we do with them? Here are a few cool tricks that you can do starting from the button example. I've wired mine up with an internal pull-up resistor. So what you've got here is a button connected to ground and digital pin 2. And then you also have an LED connected on pin 13 via a resistor. So it goes from pin 13 to the long positive leg of the LED. And then the negative leg is connected to this resistor, which hooks it up to ground. And I've configured the button example so that it uses the internal pull-up resistor that's included on the Arduino board. Take a look. Instead of using input, we're using input pull-up. Since I'm using a pull-up resistor instead of a pull-down one, that means that the button is by default going to be high. That's why when I push the button, it goes off instead of on. Now there's a couple ways we can make this more efficient. If we want, obviously we can switch around the behaviors by changing this to if the button is low. We can also modify the code so that it's a little bit less clear, but it runs a little more smoothly. Remember that you can use variables for almost all numerical values. And in Arduino, high is equivalent to 1, while 0 is equivalent to low. That means that high and low are numerical values, and you can swap in variables, or even other functions. So, check this out. We've got button state up here, which is a variable and that's based on the digital button pin reading. So what if we take this digital write statement, ignore all of this stuff, and replace this high value with the button state variable. Look at that, we can control it directly. Not only that, but if I want to flip the value that it has, so that it stays off unless I push the button, I can just throw a little exclamation point in front of it. And not only that, we can get more extreme. If we want, we can ignore the variable altogether, grab this digital read function, and stick that in the place of button state. Because they're the same thing, right? Button state is just taking the value of the digital read function. And it works exactly the same. So what we have now is a lean mean version of what we started off with in this example. It's a little tougher to understand, so you might want to add some comments for your future audience or your future self. Magic.